Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how to create texture animation for face expression. As you can see, the facial texture changes in sync with the controller. It very user friendly and easy to use. To ensure you understand the full process I recommend it watch until the end. This is the list of the files I will use on this video. These files are free to download and you can check the description below. I will begin from this mesh. This body mesh and the hair mesh both are free to download as well but in separate video. If you interest you can check the video link below. I'll start by create a skin based texture for the body mesh. Split the screen. Then open shader editor. Add image texture node. Connect it to the base color. Load the skin base color .png. Add hue saturation value node to increase its saturation a little bit. Press Ctrl plus J to frame these nodes. After that, go create a new material slot. Pick the skin texture and press the number to create single user material. Create a new UV slot. This is will be face UV. Hide the hair for a while. As you can see here, I already have this mark seam here. Then, I will press Ctrl L to select the face mark seam area and deselect these faces. Right click, choose project from view. Go to material tab. Assign the material into the selected mesh. Still in selected face material. Create one more image texture node. Create UV map node. Load face facial.png. Connect UV map to image texture. Select face UV map. Create diffuse BSDF node. Create mix shader node. Now, Connected both skin texture node and face node into this mix shader node. Connect face texture alpha into mix shader factor. Go to UV editor. Load the image as well here. Adjust the UV one more time. Now, create a plane. Set the size 1 and rotate it along x-axis 90 degree. Create material for the plane. Load the plane with face facial.jpg. Subdivide it 3 times. Here is the explanation. This edge will stay remaining. We need these edge to create 8 position point of vertex. These 8 vertex points is actually we needed. These edges will be deleted since they won't be used anymore. We need the border too. So, don't forget to select them as well. Press Ctrl plus I to invert the selection then right click, choose dissolve edges. Put the 3D cursor into the selected vertex. Create empty. This empty can be any shape you want. Scale down the empty. Ensure the empty scale is set to 1 for each axis. Press Ctrl plus A and select scale to reset its scale into 1 for each axis. Rotate the empty along x-axis 90 degree to match with the plane's rotation since the plane's rotation was set to 90 degrees on the x-axis earlier. Duplicate the empty and scale down a bit. We need at least two empty for this setup. Select the face mesh. Let's apply UV wrap modifier into the mesh. Pick the order according to this guide. If we move the smaller empty, 
it can change the face texture now. It's good enough at this point, but it will be much better if we use Snap Vertex for more precise control. Turn the snap on top of the screen. Now the face texture will be more accurately in snapping like this. Please note, the way to use this snap is little tricky. It's not snap based on the object's origin or location. It's snap based on position of the mouse pointer cursor when press it. The best way to use it is point the mouse cursor into center of the empty and move it to make it easier in control. Now, set the plane's origin at lower left corner. Select the plane and both empties. Then move them to this location. Hide the body mesh for a while. Set the plane position at X axis and Z axis zero value. Put both empties snap back to the vertex position. Select smaller empty and give it limit constraints. Open end panel by pressing N and lock Y axis location. Turn on X axis and Z axis maximum and minimum limit and turn off the eyes for a while. Now here is the simple formula. I will copy X and Z location value into limit location constraint according its position. There will be two positions, the bottom left corner and the top right corner. The bottom left corner's coordinates will set the minimum limits on each X and Z axis, and the top right corner's coordinates will set the maximum limits on each X and Z axis. And as the result later, the smaller empty will only be able to move within this area. Now, let's do this. Check the Affect Transform box and select Local Space. If I test it out here, it's not working. But don't worry, this is because the eyes have not turned on. After I turn on the eyes, it works properly now. Let's lock all location axes of bigger empty. But before that, ensure the bigger empty has snapped perfectly into the vertex. Since the bigger empty will never move for its location, we will only use smaller empty as the controller. Parent both empties to the plane. Move them back to here and unhide the body mesh. Let's test it out at once. As you can see here, it works perfectly and the empty as the controller has the accurate boundary limit. Time for the fun parts. I will create separate controller for the eyes and the mouth. Go to Shader Editor. Duplicate these frame nodes. Let's go to Photoshop for a while. I will show how the easy split eyes and mouth texture without re-UV the mesh. At Photoshop, choose the lasso tool. And select each mouth area on every face like this. The right click, select layer via cut. Now the mouth has its own layer and save it with PNG format. Named it mouth only. Save the eyes layer to PNG format as well. Back to Blender. Now as you can see the face texture has split into two files. Eyes only and mouth only both with PNG format. Reload the image texture with eyes only PNG. And create third slot of UV map. This is will be mouth UV map ID. Load the duplicated image texture with mouth only PNG. Put the third UV map into the third UV map node as well. Create one more mix shader node. Connected them like this. Put the mouth alpha into the new mix shader factor node. Connect it into the output and we done with the shader node.
Now duplicate the plane as well. From now on, the steps will be mostly same as before, so, I will just repeat it. At Limit Constraints tab, input each modifier with its own UV map on the UV map box each modifier. At this point, the eyes and mouth controller is almost done and has working well, but I've got to get them done completely. I will just repeat the step just like before. Finally both of the controller has been finished. Next, I'll do add some keyframes to do animation test and make sure everything is working perfectly. And the result? Everything is working as expected now. I try rotate randomly on the planes and try to use the controller, as you can see here, it's still working well. The plane rotation won't give any problem in the future. This is very nice and ready to use. Now as last information, we can put clearly image on the plane for better visual guide since no matter what image you apply to the plane, it won't affect anything to the face texture. You can even apply a skin texture to the plane, and the face texture will still function properly. This plane actually just a visual guide. Remember it and hopefully this is useful for you. All texture file are free to download. And please support me by subscribe and like my channel for more free content in the future. Thank you for watching.